hey guys, now let's take a minute and talk about the uh, positioning of our left hand as well. Okay. Now, to me, the um, conventional finger per fret way of playing on the um, electric bass guitar is, is really a great way to, um, to do things because it is part of the guitar uh, family and it is a very um, comfortable and very effective way of, of uh, playing different runs and arpeggios, scales, whatnot that, uh, that you will have to play. So basically, let's say I'll just start on an E note here on the D string. And what I mean is that I'm just gonna play the E with my first finger, I'm gonna play the F with my second finger, the next note, the F sharp with my third finger, and that will put my fourth, fourth finger there on the G. So that is a finger, for pre, uh, a finger per fret uh, playing. So back from the G, from your fourth finger, come back to the F sharp to your third, come back to the second finger on, onto the F, and to the first finger onto the E. And that, of course, you can go anywhere on the fingerboard and play the same exact way. You can, you can start from any note, really. So you actually start from the C here, same thing. Just go up and down, okay? Now let's just take a look at that close up. All right, so we'll just go from this E here up to an F, second finger, third finger onto the F sharp, fourth on the G, and back G, F sharp, with the third finger, two on the, on the F, and a first finger on the E. Now there is a very important thing here that I'd like to give an extra mention and that is that you don't take your fingers off the fingerboard too much, okay? What happens when you first start to play the bass, by, just somehow by nature, we all do this, we play a note, but everything else, all the other fingers come off the fingerboard. They somehow, they come out to outer space, they just don't want to stay there with the strings. Now the trick is to keep your fingers with the strings. So, for example, you play a little run here from that, from that E again to a G, what you want to do is to keep your fingers kind of hovering over that string so they are ready to play. So when they have to play, they're right there. So I just played an E and my second finger, see there, is just ready. That, I mean, the motion it makes is so minuscule. Look, that's all it is. It's just a very simple, small little motion like that. As opposed to, let's say, coming back all the way from out there. Then you have all this time and all that effort to spend to play that F. So instead of this, you know, really kind of getting away from the fingerboard and coming back, just try to keep as a start, because that will be a really, really good start, very, very effective start for you when you start to play the instrument, to keep your fingers next to the string and next to the fingerboard and, and over the, just hovering over the string so you can play very economically, okay? As you can see, that way it becomes very easy to play and um, you'll have a very good, uh, effective and, and efficient way of playing. Now just another thing about it is that um, a lot of necks can be quite long. You know, for example, this is a 35 um, uh, length scale on this bass, so the, uh, the lower uh, frets here, they are quite wide. And so therefore it can be, you know, if you play these lower frets here, the first, second, third, fourth fret, it can be hard, you know, it can be difficult, especially in, in the beginning, to play with a finger per fret positioning, okay? Now, to get around the problem of these frets being so wide here in the uh, lower position, especially, you know, the first, the second, the third, possibly up to the fourth fret here, is that um, I actually only use my first, my second, and my fourth finger down here. So I don't use the third finger. This is, the, uh, this is a finger pattern. This is a fingering pattern that, co that comes from uh, the uh, double bass, actually. But for me personally, and uh, this really is a personal thing, you don't have to um, adapt this uh, for your own playing. But to me, it, it actually proved very, very good and very effective uh, in the past and even up to today because um, it makes me play these lower frets here with a lot of ease instead of having to really you know get to the uh, frets and really kind of um, stretch my fingers here which you also can do but uh, if you're gonna do that then I recommend that you kind of follow your fingers as you go and you don't have to fan out your finger uh, fingers like that all the time just follow where you're going and then 
by the time I get to my fourth finger there, I would bring my first finger up a little bit. So it's actually not on that first fret anymore, but just kind of follow the movement of your hand like that, okay? I would just play the first fret with my first finger, the second fret with my second finger, and the third fret with my fourth finger. So very momentarily, my third finger wouldn't really do anything else, but kind of follow my fourth finger there. So just play like that, let's say an open G, an A flat to a B flat, an open D, E flat, E to F, an open A, B flat, B to C, an open E, F, B, I mean F, F sharp with your uh, second finger there, and then a G like that. To me, that's just that's just a very easy way to play these lower uh, lower frets here, and it's just um, a very comfortable uh, way to play the lower frets. And also, it keeps my hand, my my wrist, my arm quite natural and quite uh, quite relaxed as well. So for that reason, really, it's worth to try this one two four one two four one two four type finger pattern in your on your lower frets here. Okay, so let me just give you a close up view, view of that. All right. So here it is, let's say um, we just go with an A string, play a B flat with your first finger, a B with your second finger, and a C with your fourth finger, as opposed to one, two, three. So it's just one, two, and four. Just like that. Great, this is enough information to get you started with your left hand and um, as you get into musical stuff, you know, musical material, scales, arpeggios, different runs, bass lines and so on and so on, your left hand uh, will improve automatically and naturally anyways. So here it is for you for, for a start and just to get you into a real nice um, relaxed and uh, the proper way of, of getting into uh, approaching and playing the instrument. Great, thanks a lot you guys for watching.